This is it, man. Where it all started. Four-man pressure. Burrow. Hit as he throws it. Adam A. Berglund again. Knocking it out. As Adam A. Berglund from Nova Scotia with his fifth quarterback drop. Back at Jarvis High. Where everything started. Where the love of the game started. I'm going to show y'all around real quick. It just humbles me coming back here because not everybody gets a chance to play where I'm playing and to be able to do it from this field, like we, we didn't even play on this field. We, didn't, we don't have our own field. We play at Burnside Turf, so uh, this field means a lot to me, man. This is home. It's crazy, man. You think about it. This is the community that you grew up in. This is where my whole family's from. And uh, just to be back here is a blessing. It really humbles you. It allows you to think like, uh, you know, be grateful for where you're at now. And although, although it wasn't easy uh, getting to where I'm at, uh, it just allows you to know that you started from here so you can't really forget your roots and the work you put in was a humbling feeling being able to come back here every once in a while. The process itself is me telling you to come out here every day for an hour, put your cleats on and just get 1% better. That's simple, but it's not easy. A lot of people got different things going on, this and that. You got a doctor's appointment, you're hanging out with your girlfriend, you want to eat, you want to drink. I'm talking about alcohol, you want to drink alcohol, you can't do that all the time. It's not easy. So. Find peace in knowing that the process is simple, but you gotta understand that it's not easy. That's the advice I would give you. This is, uh, I don't know what everybody else calls it, but I, I think I heard it called the lookout. I usually come here at the night, um, like 10, 11. And I just take my, put my AirPods in, man, come down here with the football just in my hands. Man, just being out here and just having like a big open space uh, and just being able to reflect and think and visualize visualize success and plays you're gonna make on the field, just football stuff, man. Like tough times, get through adversity. And it's special when you start to learn how to do that kind of stuff. And that's what I use this place for, man. Just, to, just for peace of mind and to kind of grow myself mentally. Down this street, like you just go down there, it's down there. I remember one of my homies came by with a big ass slice of pizza. I can't believe it, man. It's gonna be funny. <laughs> What's up? Oh my goodness. Nice to see you, Isaac. How are you doing? Good. Good. One Good. more year. One more year. And then NFL, right? Everybody you know, used time? to come in here with him that played with him, said he's the best. Everybody used to say that. Yeah. Spend all summer, like the first month of June, and then go back for training in July. I actually leave on Monday. Do you leave on Monday? Uh, no air pizza, no veg, right? Don't no sauce, no sauce. No sauce, no sauce. My brother pointed it out to me. He's like, oh my God, Isaac's in the paper. And you were here that day and didn't even say nothing. <laughs> Think about it. That's how modest he is. Yeah. Like he's all black, like Halifax, blasted all over the newspaper. But he got me in the same place. I'm leaving. You know what, you're always a nice young man. Honestly, we adore him. Very respectful, very everything. Good for you, man. Love him. Like, he's just so polite, so considerate. Never mind the fact that he would love. Just all around nice guy. So deserving. So deserving. Come to the pizza spot anywhere. I don't care where you're at. Nova Scotia, I don't care. Canada, you come here. Hidden Gem. Hungry Hut. Alright, y'all. Alright. Love y'all too. Be safe, man. Yo, thanks.